Okay, we're back the next day. Uh, welcome to day six. Week four of the first month in the Necropolis. Now, what should we do today? I think uh, we want to go around the heroes. I think Zai, as I'm going to try to remember to call her, wants to get back in the boat. There's firebirds here. Maybe one, maybe two, but that's enough uh, to make me not want to fight uh, the Conflux. So I think maybe we could scout up this way and then use the second day to run through here and jump in the boat. If we are left alone, we might try to come down here and get this. We could flag these on day one, maybe. That could be a thing. Before we decide that, just again, what a massive shout-out to Stig saving the campaign for us. We're going to want to come and learn something. I don't think we're going to be able to do that fight still. So that's a problem. That's actually a real bottleneck in our development, not being able to come through and just develop all that area. With the two main heroes underground here, we've got Septiana and Nagash, and they're a long way from home. They're a very long way from home. I drew these arrows just before I hit the record button. That's how far back it is, four plus turns. Jeez, where? That's still three. Yeah. So it's, more, it's pretty much more than four turns to even get back above ground again for Nagash. Septiana, similar story, not quite as far. But I think on this map, there's too much to potentially gain by continuing to explore. I think with Septiana, we have a pretty good line in doing a bit more exploring, coming back and hitting the warehouse on day one. Um, and then with Nagash, he can just gallop on forward, or he could try to take one of these fights on with his spell points. I think lots of centaurs, centaurs have HP 6. So if there's, say, 40... That's 240 HP. And I think with his spell power, he does actually have enough death, death ripples and or magic arrows to get that job done. So similar to what Septiana did before, it's almost like some one-upmanship going on. I think we should give that a try. Maybe do that first. And I think I prefer the centaurs to the trogs, just because the Pandora's box is probably very good. I might just grab these gems first and then we'll do this fight. He's going to be like, ugh, abandoning the cause. So, we'll just adjust some audio here for us. Okay, so Death Ripple's just going to be excellent. Um, unless we lose both guys. Oh, maybe we are going to lose both guys. Let me just check. No, we should be okay. Alright, so Death Ripple 1. Yeah. Okay. I suppose there is a risk here we've taken that... Um, Another morale flash will go off. Uh, let's see, I can get there, but if I come up to here, maybe I'll be alright. Alright, so good luck to you fellas. Bit risky, actually, in hindsight, right? But then again, uh, like, let's say they'd been in three stacks, Death Ripple still would have been very good. So I don't feel like that bad. I'm, it's, I've never been able to leverage Death Ripple this way before. Uh, it always seems to me to be a kind of a bad um, option uh, to cast. Like, it never... It, it doesn't stick around during the late game. You, you, you're finding yourself casting different things instead. We've been offered fire magic, and we have curse and bloodlust. Curse would go down to five. Um, oops, hang on, what happened there? Fire magic or necromancy... Uh, he's got no other skills yet. Spell power plus one. We know blind, Septiana know who someone don't know so Zai knows blind. And with the scholar, maybe at some point Nagash could learn it. Don't know how relevant that really is. I know curse and I could work my way towards expert curse. So I think that's something I'm just gonna say yes to. And let's just see what's in the box. Drum roll. Do you wish to open the box? We do. Ah, 60 hobgoblins. It feels like, I don't know, I've played a bit of Horn of the Abyss, I don't know if the Pandora's boxes have been nerfed a little bit. I mean, even just a teensy bit. I mean, I shouldn't be too upset, right, because it was guarded by an extremely easy group of um, dudes. 
but still. A horde of troglodytes, what's the best way of dealing with a horde of troglodytes? And I have fast goblins. I think the best way is probably to do something like this and we'll come up with some kind of scam. Definitely want to take this fight now. There's stuff up here, maybe I could get it. Ooh, anything's possible. 58 of these bad boys. Just messing with my volumes here again, guys. Hope that's okay. I'm going to try to do this without spell points. That's fine for us, no problem. Doesn't want to use it. You've got to act before me. You come to here. You go to there. And... What am I going to do here? These guys can come to here, maybe? Then with the weight? Hmm. So I could just do the kite move here. Yeah. Seems okay. Come back. I can't hear. Can you guys hear what's going on? <laughs> now you guys are going to come clopping over here. A morale flash on that stack would be annoying. Hedge that, couldn't we, by just shuffling? Makes the hobgoblins' job a bit harder, but they've got movement seven, so they're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's fine. Um, and maybe we'll do that. Just tighten up a little bit. Movement five. One, two, three, four, five. You can't do it. One, two, three, four, five. You can do it. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, that was a miserable failure on my part. Um, actually makes me want to try to offer a sacrificial lamb down this side. No morale. Ah. What? Start of the next round. Well, alright, but I don't want to use any of my stuff. The hobgoblins are kind of more important than anything else now. I think they're going to be too tempted to, to kill skeletons. So I'm angling away, even though I can't escape anyway. Yeah, but this is just... this is fine. Okay. I think they're still just going to kill a skeleton. Seven of them come back, but that's just really not great. Weakening our big stack like that. I probably didn't fight that very well. It's awkward, right, when my good unit is really fast and my bad units are really are slower than the enemy. There's a right way to fight that. I think I can do this fight now. So this has kind of worked out, actually. A little bit of um, momentum. For, Na for Nagash is nice. So we decided with Septiana we are going to keep exploring. People have been here. Smooth stones swirling around and I'm looking into it and I'm realising that I can be an advanced water mage. Yeah, I don't want to take... Uh, definitely don't want to take archery as my last skill. Plus one defence is fine by me as well. Now these mansions, this is new in Horn of the Abyss for those who aren't familiar. They are mansions and they are, I won't be going in there, they're guarded by vampire lords. Uh, so kind of can be the sort of thing where you're either going to comfortably beat them or they're going to absolutely destroy you. 
just want to get a bit more of a scout on here. I don't want to go flag that because I don't think it'll bear fruit and she'll risk getting tagged. Well, okay, now I can't get back to the boat this week, so I kind of want to make a nuisance of myself. I could do this, come back, do that. I don't know what's down there. She might already be dead. There might be a <coughs> green hero coming up from under the underground to get vengeance. Now, as for Zai. Not Zai, Stig. As for Stig, this is the obvious first destination. The question is... What have I got left here to buy, if anything? And I think the answer is nothing. The only thing's a first aid tent. Nope, she has a first aid tent. So, I could leave these slow guys behind, but that would include the zombies. I kind of want to build to my capital. Do we think we can tag a horde of fire elementals with this hero? And magic arrow. <laughs> definitely not happening right it's definitely definitely not happening the other thing we could do with her is come down grab some halflings which might be available I think I had thought the other day that we could do this fight though lots of boars against seven liches getting a you know get, getting given the runaround by the various other units I think that's doable and I think that's level five we'd get a bonus to, to, to that she can also hit this monolith grab peasants out of here so I think we have a way forward I don't need all the creature stacks, I need to make room for them. For those peasants and stuff. So I think the units to leave behind are pretty much obviously these. That's movement four. Uh, archer, archer units are good, but not when there's only four of them. It's just not really something to worry about. Try. I don't think the windmill was explored today. This week, I mean. It's a big loss of moves. Let's just have a quick look how she gallops. Let's let's gallop out for me, Stig, and see how. Let's see your form. <sighs> That's a big waste of my time. What's the downside? The downside is nothing, because I can still get to the halflings this week. No one's threatening to take the boars off me. I get these satyr dudes. They seemed good. Those satyr guys for casting mirth. The boar glen. Oh man, could get that. Could kill these. I don't think I'm at risk of losing... Uh... Oh. Now, this is because I've... <laughs> I came back the next day. It would be fresh in my memory. Oh, I've completely cocked up. I'm oh, sorry. I just realised I've completely messed up. I've galloped her down to this target, which was already taken by Green. By Dima. Um, and in reality, of course, she wanted to go here. And she still has to do that. That's still a must. So that's a big loss of momentum. I've lost at least half a day, half a day of her moves there. So that's that's terrible and sloppy. I have no excuse at all, and you're right to feel disappointed in me. A bit more knowledge. A monk sitting in the center of a garden, just randomly out in the middle of nowhere in the underground. Invites you to meditate with them. I guess that's what monks do, though, right? They find a quiet space. After sitting there for a while, you feel absolutely enlightened. But still utterly exhausted from a... Is this a waste? Four gems is never a waste. It's day seven. Let's stick around. Okay, that's easy. Nagash. Can't do the basilisks. Let's try to do this fight again, but better. Shall we? Uh, what is that? Let's stand here. That's the red tower. There's only 37 of them, but yeah, I'm just going to death rip all right. I'm going to take... I think that's worth it. Death ripple's crushing. Ah, uh, see, again, that's twice. That That is sloppy. I mean, I, that's unforgivable. I mean, okay, fool me once. Or make an idiotic mistake once. You know, shame on you. 
but fool me twice. Yeah, I'm sorry everyone. What a waste of spell points and a waste of goblins. Okay, yeah. Hi guys, I'm sorry. Like, this is just... After scouring the area, we get a Ring of Vitality. And the Ring of Vitality gives the health of all of our units plus one. Very, very good. Ring of Vitality, such... They've, they've, they've seen that to me. Yeah, yeah, they've seemed a lot more robust. All of you guys. All of you guys. And that includes the undead as well. All right, that's actually not bad. Take that, even though I'm an absolutely callous murderer of my living uh, allies. I think the red tower is too hard. It has elementals in it, if I'm served correctly. Again, for those of you who are new to this, Horn of the Abyss Caper. Black tower, same deal. I think it's dragons. Cannon Yard lets you buy cannons. Cannons are a new thing in Horn of the Abyss. So there's three locations here, three objects. This thing is new. That's the, a wolf raider picket. Also new to Horn of the Abyss. Now, cannons are expensive, and I don't have money. So I'm just going to do that and come back just to see where we're at. And this is where we're at. We're at death. We're at the point of death. Our game is over. It's been lovely knowing you all. I think Nagash will survive. Uh, but we won't be able to hire him back for a while. There's no point running, so let's just have a look. Okay, so this is a neutral town. This is not actually Al Alagar's town. It's Alagar's rampart, and he's conquered this town. Okay, cool. Um, that's something to fight over. Cool. That's good to know that that's there. Septiana's doing that. Zai is going to do this job. Um, such a nuisance. Come in here, do this. Earth magic isn't actually great for us, surprisingly. I think I'll be offered it again later. And advanced learning, may as well try and leverage learning, so leverage it early since we've got no choice. Alright, Stig, <laughs> so embarrassing. But yep, come up and do your thing. I should have thought about this as well. I think spell power is the way to go. Yeah, so she'd be underground by now if I hadn't made that other mistake yesterday. Alright. So Alagar's going to kill Nagash. The odds are overwhelming. Do you wish to retreat? Well, um, no, because I managed to kill a Pegasi in the auto resolve. Let's see what I can do in real life with no spell points. This? Yeah, it's probably just this, right? And then we run away. Yeah, two is better than one. Okay, so this army's okay, but not amazing. Alagar, nice to see you. I should take a look at him. He's a pretty poor hero, so that's good to know. Okay. Right, so piano, get us some stuff. Three crystals, great. Come down here, keep exploring, see what you can find. I need to fix her army. And, wow, a Colosseum just sitting there, I'll take that. Lots of genies, too tough for us. Okay, cool. Zai, have no wisdom. The boat is some way off. Wait, stop. Sloppy clicking, three crystals, okay. Yeah, I've got time to come around and do this, because they The fire birds are gone, so someone's come and got them. Which makes me worried that they've gone underground with them and they're going to hook back up around here. So maybe we need to be ready for them with Stig. Alright, Stig. Let's get this torso. Oh, should I get these first? I have time? How much do I care about 15 halflings? 
not enough. I can get them some other time. The liches just completely overpower. 39 of them, it's not easy. Can't slow. I could curse, it'd be pretty good. 52, damn. Yeah, cursing's not bad. It's not great. Okay, so wait. Um, try and bait them a little bit. This is going to last the four turns. I probably should have checked actually to make sure that that's. No. Not a great thing I can do. Oh, that's good. That's very nice. And the, <clears throat> and the two hex um, body is going to be a big liability for them here. They're not going to be able to get through to me. Head. Come on, boys. Not bad. They're very expendable, those things. It's okay. I don't know if I wasted six spell points there. She does have a first aid tent. We get 50 points to the first unit. Um, basic first aid. I think it's normally about 10. Yeah, her specialty is sorcery. 5% per level. Okay, so I think I don't think it's 5% as in she become her spells yield 20. Well, hang on. Causes a bolt of ma spell power times 10 plus 10. Would normally be 60 damage. Sorcery is giving her 63. Okay which is 5% more damage, and then on top of that she gets a 5% per level, so it's clearly not 20% more damage, it's like 5% per level bonus to the bonus, I think is what it is. So instead of 5%, it's 5% times 1.2. So 6%, 5% goes to 6%. So, in other words, who cares? First aid seems okay. It, it gives me some utility right now. I can take it. Searching your room, you're amazed to find a piece of the Statue of Legion. You carefully dust it off and place it in your backpack. Oh yeah. Fourth level units, even better. That's vampires, that's fantastic. Really, really good. It's day one, so I'm not going to worry about getting back to use that torso just yet. I can't be bothered going to get the halflings when there's jobs to be done here. Even the satyrs can wait, right? That's doable. Okay, so green hasn't done these. So green has come up under here, but it hasn't got access to this. So this is a green area in here. Untouched by time. Nagash could reappear up here and come and get the chest of Legion. That's now not visited again, so that's something. Uh, the real thing I want to do here is build my capital, though. Then I've, now that I've got the money, 10k. Let's drop it. Boom. Look at that. Oh, man, now we really are cooking. Look at this awesome building. We have a new week's worth of castle, tr of, of, of castle produced troops. We're okay. Okay. Tell me more about that hero. Who was that? Who was this person? No, that's me. Is she up here? 
No, that also is me. Right, I'm gonna need to see that again, folks. Apologies. What? Where in the world is that? So there's a, there's a cover of darkness. I have to watch it one more time, people, sorry. It's right near the, it's here. So she's just there, and there's a cover of darkness. And I don't know how good the hero is. I don't know if it's Alamar, for example. Yes, I do. It's not Alamar. So I'm going to bet that Alamar has the good army and that Stig's army ain't half bad. And we could come up and challenge this Cyan hero who's never seen this area. So I think it's a bit of a change of plans. Stiggy's going to have to get a move on. Nagash could probably get to her today. Is there any reason to do that? I think the answer is no. So we know she's about there. Let's say she gallops out to here, gets the ore. She goes this way, it's not going to matter. She comes down here, gets that, comes to here. Yeah, so I'm going to spend a day down here and see what that cyan hero does. We'll learn a little bit more about how powerful they are as well. Horde of gremlins will die to magic arrow if they have masters. Just do that quickly. Yes. They do have masters. Maybe I should be saving my spell points for something more deadly, but... How many perished? One thing I've noticed with the horn, it's of the abyss, it's a little thing, is that when the creatures die, the number doesn't change immediately. The animation happens, and then they die. The animation of getting hurt happens, and then the number changes. It's a little niggly thing. It doesn't really matter, but um, I'm just very conditioned to... Uh, who did you shoot? Did you shoot this? You shot them? I'd forgotten that first aid gives you control of the first aid tent. Fascinatingly. Yeah, so I'm just going to do this, even though that's a bigger stack. It's just better, right? Why am I doing anything? You may ask. You may ask yourself. Why am I here defending this pile of rocks? Um, a monk. Uh, yet another one. They're all over the place here. Stig learned something, so that's a miracle. Um, no, I'm being mean. I don't think I want to fight lots of energy elementals anyway to get to a wolf raider picket. And I don't need peasants. So quick scout of this. Does it keep going? It does keep going. All right, but we need to get back and get ready. Didn't look at the map there. Let's have another quick look. Do we think that Thingo was maybe digging in the right place? So we've got trees, rocks, shrub here, cliffs to the side. I'm going to go ahead and say that that's the wrong place. Because this area here just doesn't match, does it? I mean, I don't think. Putting it in the centre of my screen and then clicking the puzzle button. Where's the where's these hills? Where's this where's this cliff mountainous region right at the top? It's just not there, right? So I think this was just a pot shot. Like a hero with nothing to do was waiting around, so like Septiana could have done that. Although it uses your whole turn, so I don't know. Anyway, I definitely want to do this. Go for attack this time. Lots of genies. We could stick our head up there, that's something to do. Okay, another one of these dragon towers we're not going to be strong enough to do. I don't think. Well, mm. if I had spell points, maybe. Angel feather arrows are good. Okay, a horde of swordsmen used to be lots, which makes me feel like this place hasn't been explored yet by anybody else. Uh, Zai has things to do. 
These are good pickups. I could get in the boat today instead of coming down and doing this. The reason why I would do that is that it doesn't feel like these guys are going to get around to coming back, you know, coming all the way around and I'm doing it. And then I could be down here and just hit summon boat. She gets two goes at summon boat, I think. Yeah, two goes. Um, if they don't work, she just gallops up and does it the hard way. Spirit of oppression, is that what one of you guys want? What do you want? A pendant of dispassion. Spirit of oppression would be amazing for us. It negates morale. A horde of pirates. That's level 3 upgraded cove unit. Good archery unit. Very, very high damage. My rule of thumb is to think of them like a, a beholder. Or an evil eye, but with less HP and more damage. Kind of like has the HP of a lizard man, but the damage output of a Medusa. Something like that. And then these cool, these guys have this cool thing as well, where they can be upgraded a whole extra time, which is a unique ability, and they become a sea dog, and the sea dog has another ability that's a bit like the mighty gorgons, where they kill an extra stack. Kind of the coolest unit in the cove, I think. Um, not that I've played a lot of Cove, to be fair. Uh, the time the time that I had played it uh, was some time ago. So yeah, I can't get in the boat today, actually. So why don't we learn this spell? It's pretty low regret. View Air might be worth casting, actually. Let's cast View Air while we're here. Okay, it tells us that there is an artifact here. And uh, what else can we see with no talent in the... School of Air, nothing much more. It's just another very low regret. Ah, oh, it tells us everything down here. Okay, so cool. So actually we have a sense of what's through here, worth trying to kill these golems and get through here at some point. That's good, because it's not too far from our... It's good to know that that's all there, not far from our base. Um, I have a habit of not casting View Air as often as I should. So we're going to gallop down here. I can't kill the pirates. It's just going to be too hard. But we'd love to come back over with an army and do that job, maybe with Nagash. So where did Stig get to? She got to here. Tomorrow I could hire Nagash, bring some people down with me. I'd love to see a Cyan hero here with a decent army that I could kill. So that's why I'm crossing my fingers for tomorrow. Let's see. Tan is here. That's okay, though. All right, there she goes. She's gone the wrong way. All right. Who is it? Who are you? Uland. Decent army, but one that Stiggy, with this week's troops, could maybe kill. I don't want to make the mistake I think I made last time of chasing arbitrarily after heroes that just wander through my area. So I think Stig is going to continue this job. Right, she's going to keep prosecuting down here. Nagash could bring her troops, but he doesn't need... He doesn't have to just yet. Some hard choices here. Let's do Septiana first. She might be the easiest. Okay, we're in Blue's territory. That's a nomad tent. And a portal down there. I don't know if I really want nomads. I kind of just want to keep exploring. Can I kill the churchyard? Do I want nomads? The obvious problem, of course, being... Oof, they're expensive. Level 4 units, but with really low damage. They're like a bad demon. Terrible damage output. 2,800 bucks. Died a death ripple. Meat is meat, though, all the way out here. I'm going to buy them. Like, that could be wrong, but I just feel like having something with some beef could be really handy. 
what this girl really needs is a wishing well, desperately. I love a wishing well. Can I go here and learn something? I might have to... That's a pretty low regret, right? If I get the morale debuff. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go for that and see what's happened. The morale debuff doesn't isn't going to matter too much. Um, still haven't seen anything from green. Tan is too far out of the running. He's going to take that off me, but that's alright. Is this worth bothering with? I'm just not sure how long I'll have it for. Like, let's say he gallops over and steals my boat. I'll be really sad. Although I could come back and steal his. Not sure. Let's do this. Okay. And let's just do this for the scouts. A horde of familiars is still not actually a gimme. Either for this little army. Um, if they're in two stacks, blind would be very good. I'm not sure this is right. 65 of them? Uh, awkwardly spread out, too. Well, alright. What are you going to do with that? Just kill one? That actually worked in our favour. They should have gone for the whites. Actually, this is fine too. Well, uh, nah, it doesn't help us, but it's not that bad. Okay, uh, you are going to wait. What are we going to spend our mana on? Killing... Seven. Not very good. At some point, someone has to actually swing their weapon at them, so... Yeah, blind is a waste, isn't it? That's just magic arrow. That's my only. That's my only interesting thing I can do. I want to attack these with the zombies, and then one, two, three, four. I just move to here. Well, I'm moving into range, which makes me stupid. Foolish. You're in the way. Oh. Oh. oh boy. <laughs> that, that's, I can't defend them. I can't defend myself properly. Which is not a good trait to have as a uh, a warrior in a medieval fantasy setting. Could kill all three of these right now. Give them a bloody nose. They come back with. Well, they might not kill the white. And then my wounds heal unless they come after me. I don't think they killed one. This is fine. That's perfect. That's fine. If these don't hit the whites, I'm happy. Hey! Hit the zombies? Oh, well, okay, that's actually fine as well. Alright. Hey, it worked. My wounds heal and I am whole again. So I can just do this. Uh, I'll do this job. You can kill with 10. That's good. Those are good hits there. That's a very good hit. Fine with this. Okay. That's actually, that worked out alright. That worked out pretty well. Alright, four skellies. Okay, so we got out of that with one magic arrow down. Masters are here. Which means that... Okay, so that connects through to there. Mm, we know that there are artef artifacts there from the view air. I think the hard part is figuring out what we're going to do... With Nagash, Septiana, she's just kind of exploring herself to death at this point. I'd quite like to, to take this town, but I'll need resources. Like, I'm going to need Stig's troops and next week's troops to do that. 
I want to do this. Yep. That's just my mind. I'm going to do this fight quickly. One vampire is unacceptable. Just die. Why are you even bothering? Well, I guess you can come here. Both got six. You need. Well, you're not even gonna. How did you kill a vampire? I wonder in the auto resolve. Like that's. Oh, you even put yourself. That's very courteous of you. Nice one. Do it, Stiggy. MVP at the moment, old Stig, she's awesome. We still won't have enough money to buy all the stuff and Nagash. So, Wraith subsist on magic energies. Yeah. I mean, I've got the money, I could hire him and not. but not the soldiers. I am losing 350 bucks a day by not hiring him, so he, maybe it's right that I should, because I know I'm hiring him before the end of the week. So for every day I spend not doing that, I'm burning, I'm burning money. I'm burning 350 bucks a day, so that was a mistake. I should have bought him as soon as I could afford him on day one. Day two, well, yesterday I think, yeah. So we've, wait, we've lost 350. Finding all these mistakes, it's not good. It's not good. Do I need the army or can I wait? Cover of Darkness could be a very good investment now. So could the second level Mage Guild. Upgraded Estate Time. We have the Crystal to do pretty much whatever we want now. You could just go do that job quickly. Okay, that hasn't been done either. It's pretty pathetic, Aaron, but safe enough because we are safe at the moment. I don't know about the Mage Guild. Oh, I just realised Nagash actually also needs to spend a night behind the walls. <laughs> so it feels like we, kinda, we can bank everything right and save up for next week. So I think I will build a Mage Guild. We could do this. But I want to see what I've got. What have I got? I've got Blind, right? It's going to be Blind. It's Lightning Bolt. We already knew Death Ripple because of Scholar. Disrupting Ray is not useless. Yeah. Don't think anyone's heading towards air though, are they? Do I have any air people? Water. I'm air. Okay, so Stig is air. And she's level 4 now. So she's actually ahead of... She's, Stig's our second best hero in terms of knowledge. Mustn't forget about the torso. We want to get that up. Day 3... For yeah, this time. Just relax. Okay, my time is up. Do I wish to retreat? No. Stop asking me that. I want to check out who this is. Eovacus. Eovacus. Decent hero, about as good as Septiano. Maybe a little bit worse, but 85 spell points. Now we've got so we've got a good cove hero. We can have a good look at all the cove creatures. This is a perfect opportunity to have a bit of a look. I think there might be one of everything. All seven tiers are represented here. We have Nymphs, which is the basic unit. We've got, no, maybe we're missing crewmates. One, two, three, yeah, there's crew, so level two, tier two is missing. Pirates are here, that's the unit I was talking about before. Level four is these guys, the Acids. 
and they have the ferocity feature. So this is the upgraded version, where they kind of get to they do is they get to do a second attack, but only if they kill something the first attack. So it's nearly the same as Wolf Raiders. Level five then is uh, the, the these guys, sorceresses, sea witches. They're basically the same as a lich, is how I think of them. And then, in terms of my shorthand, shortcut. These are mysterious, these guys. I'm not sure how these work. So this is a Nyx. And it's kind of a unicorn, but a really bad unicorn. But it has this weird ignore damage ability, you can see there. It ignores 30% of the attack skill of whatever's attacking it. But it's going to die to spells and stuff, right? And I don't know how well it synergizes with everything else that's here. I'm not sure if this is the worst tier 6 unit out of all of them now, or if he's, maybe he's awesome, but I don't think he's good, right? Speed 6? Tier 6? Speed 6? Health 80 is the same as a Manticore, which is like the worst, except for the Wyvern. I don't know, these just don't seem amazing, these Nyx things. Um, and they have protection from fire, which I think this fellow saw fit to cast, for some reason. Wow. And finally we have the Sea Serpent, which is the level 7, and these guys are quite good. They've got the Poisonous Attack, which is the same as the Wyvern Monarchs. And you can see they're pretty high, highly variable damage output. Good speed though, and um, the upgraded version I think is pretty tanky. I think the upgraded version might be 300 HP. So yeah, not, not terrible. What do I want to spend my spell points on? I guess I'll kill something. I have 15 HP. And I'm happy enough with going for the pirates, I think. Yeah, it feels like a big stack of these is kind of nightmarish. I think that's the best bang for my buck, so to speak. Okay. Ooh. So that's a pistol shot. <sighs> pretty good, pretty accurate. <laughs> Here they come, the Nyx. And she casts Weakness as well, so she attacks you and then casts Weakness. That's a really cool feature. I could just flee, but I wouldn't mind just seeing some of the other... That's the Cannon he's got, the Cannon as well. That's the same as the Ballista, except it's better, I think. Um, I think that's just suicide, right, these things. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just not do anything. I don't know. I'm not sure if I can actually do any damage now at all. Whoa. That's one heck of a clone. Uh, has clone changed to being... Uh, you get two goes of clone now? So is, is it expert water magic gives you two copies? Was that always the rule? Alright, so it was nice meeting you. I'm out of here. Okay, and we... Okay, so you got to do it instead of me. All right. All right, okay. So we got a bit big for our boots there, but I'm okay with it because we've revealed substantial information about the map, which is quite handy. I really want the Spirit of Repression. I think the experimental shop, you've got to beat golems and you get a prize. Do I want to just get back in the boat? Uh, there's no point fighting over this with him. I think we're just getting back in the boat, right? Yeah, so do that. Right, Stig, what are you up to? Let's finish this job. We already know shield, okay. Why bother with peasants, I don't think. Okay, Nagash is here. We realised he needs to spend, spend the night at some point. Yeah, this feels good to me. We can get a big snowball of nasty vampire lord-looking dudes to come and feast on these, grab the Spirit of Oppression. We could then use those vampire lords and liches to take Styrium. And that, that seems good to me, right? That seems very good to me. Yeah, they both need to spend the night. That sounds dodgy, but that's where we're at. OK, 
because she is completely out of spell points as well. Now we can't risk her dying at the castle gates if another surprise visit comes down this way. Um, yeah, see how she's got two spell points? That's going to need to be fixed by staying. I was going to say, she could maybe ride up and hit the um, hit this. And then attack back up through this way. Or she could come and annoy the these guys. They don't look like they're really getting a lot done, though, up there. They'll be able to do this. But a horde of sorceress is pretty nasty. I don't think Cyan, if I can call them that, light blue, I don't think they're that great. I don't think they're that strong. That cove hero seemed pretty strong. Yeah, but I'm going to guess that we're in okay shape. That's been visited. We want to do that as well. We desperately want to get that done. So Stig, we need the army. Can you come back to us, love? So it's day four. She gets to here. Then to here. The next day. We need to save up our bankroll anyway. It's alright. So let's just make sure that she doesn't die. And then again, I'm not sure how this works. Can she flee? If she gets attacked. I mean, she's probably not going to get attacked, but still. That's something for me to be paranoid about. Could I buy this week's troops? Upgrade to Vampire Lords and just do stuff this week. Maybe, but I can decide tomorrow. Okay, guys. Sorry for the weird cut. It's the next day. Uh, I was yelling at the kids and then um, closed the game down without saving, but I did have an autosave. So um, I kind of know what happens with the f fire elementals, but it's not a massively spoiler alert kind of season. It's, it's, a, it's a less scary fight than I thought, but I, I won't spoil it too much. I don't think it's too immersion breaking to just reload the old autosave here and continue. I got about to halfway through the next day having killed the fire, fire elementals. I didn't get, actually gallop up here. I haven't seen any of this. Um, so yeah, it was just simply autosave, so you just hit the end turn button is where we're up to. Apologies for that, just life, man. Pesky kids. Okay, I need to pay attention to all that, I was kind of, because I'm excited to get on with it, so the you're doing that, and then what are you doing? You're a garbage hero, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. The sad thing is that Helen's going to come down and get all this stuff. I haven't shown you yet, and I haven't tried to implement it, but it's possible to guard your stuff. I could have left some guardians here that would have given him a headache. Um, who I would leave, I don't know, right? Maybe the zombies would be too too damaging for him to deal with, but then again, he's cast Spellcaster. It's a thing you can do. Uh, because I'm not used to doing it, I don't play a lot of Horn of the Abyss, I'm not constantly thinking about how I can... Uh, I probably should be leaving some meaningful troops at each location just to mess with them, you know? Like if I'd left a little bit of troops here and a little bit of troops here, he's wasting spell points, it's slowing him down. Probably is a thing that I should learn how to do better. Uh, now, what we're doing here, the whole point of what I've been waxing on yesterday is we're going to come up and kill these guys. We need Stig's army to do that. There's all these other cool errands we can do as well with a nice good sized necropolis army which I'm looking forward to doing and the four heroes can sort of share share the army around a little bit we can form a bit of a daisy chain I've got ambitions to come over here but I don't know if I can get there before day, day one the end of day one I'd need to get a move on hmm what if I buy everything give it to Get the army to here, G takes it, lands back on the landmass, he runs for it. She comes galloping over and uses it to conquer Styrium. Is that better than this job? I'm going to do this job because this is the job I did last night. I've already done it. Um, so I'm going to be, yeah, yeah, that would be, I think that would be an abuse of my position of clairvoyance. 
Right, so I did this. I bought this is this is this isn't controversial anyway, right? I made a decision last night that uh, all narrated and recorded, um, but not saved. That I don't want to start wasting more money on skellies. Even that, that twelve hundred bucks, I think it was. Yeah, save that money because we just don't have skeletons. They're not really a thing. So he gives the army. He learns firewall and process. He gives the army. And see, I just don't have enough skellies for it to start mattering now with necromancy. So yeah, so Septiana is the one. She's the one I want to do this job. She's the one who did it last night. Comes here, Thingy gives her the army. Septiana learns shield and teaches a bunch of stuff. Okay, oh, take the first A10. I think we'll leave, yeah, gonna leave the torso. Uh, to hopefully find its way back to base, and that's something I'm almost definitely going to forget, even though it's free vampires that I'm probably going to forget about, but uh, hopefully I don't. And then, yeah, so Septiana has the army. She goes up and deals with the horde. Some more skellies. Well, an extra stack of skellies would have been nice, but I could use a zombie, so let's just do that. Um, now... I really wasn't sure about whether it made sense to have my vampires in this fight for fear of losing one, because they have to get back and they have to get back to the town to be upgraded. But I think I resolved that I'm cool with it. I'm okay. Uh, not losing one, that it's ma it's going to be manageable. I, I don't have to lose one. So let's do this fight. I hope I'd fight it as well as I fought it last night. Yes, it doesn't look uh, great. Fifty-eight of them. Right, so what I did last night was Lightning Bolt was my answer, which just has a decent damage efficiency per mana points. So I'll be doing that again, uh, but there's no reason to do anything until they've moved. There's no morale risk. You stay here for luring purposes. Come down here, start getting ready to protect these. And I think the best stack to hit is going to be hmm, this one. And I'm going first next turn. And I'll probably be doing another one. Another lightning bolt, I mean. He's going to have to wait, so they played that well. You can just defend. Defend, 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 defend. So the important thing is that the vampires have an escape route and that they don't get boxed in. So they get to move first, next turn. If I hit you and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, I can't be hit by you or you. So that seems okay. The liches can attack this as well. And I have the lightning bolt. I I do want to cast Lightning Bolt again. And I guess I'll pick this stack. I'm able to make my decisions much more quickly than I made them last night. I sat staring at each node of the, of, of the combat and then just I just kept concluding that Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. Um, just because by the time they've killed these guys... They still have enough meat, and the vampires only kill a few. See, that's lovely. It's really nice. And this is just working out really well. Yeah. First day in ten, you idiot. I think I do... You're out of the game, so, yeah... I think I cast three lightning bolts last time. I think that's what happened. <sighs> Zombos? Yeah, so we just have to wait with the vamps. See what I mean? They're okay, but you've got to kind of manage them. 
Don't wreck my tent, that didn't happen last time. Okay, here's the thing, in Horn of the Abyss, uh, I think the war machines have all got worse health. So this is as health 75, I think it used to be 750. So I don't know, maybe when you take the first aid skill, it starts to give it more HP, the first aid tent, I must look that up. But there's definitely a difference, they're a lot squishier than they used to be. And we are of course at risk of losing a tent if we're not careful. You, hmm. Wait. You come here. That's pretty good. Okay, well you could just do this now. Do I need another lightning bolt? I don't think I do. They're going to deal about 10 more damage to that. This is taking massive damage. Yeah, I think I can save my mana now. Danny. I think I fought it better last night. That's your big plan? Yeah. Okay, so I lost a zombie. I think last night I had a couple of skellies more, and I had a basic skelly stack that died instead of the zombie. You didn't... You didn't miss... You know, you, it wasn't manifestly different. I don't think I said anything particularly clever or insightful during the fight. Uh, now she's level 7, knowledge plus 1, and we don't want to take learning. Raises 5 skellies, which is nice. And I think this is the point at which I had to get up and go deal with the kids. So... With that in mind, um, I want the hourglass. Could just take it right now. A surprise turn in the landscape finds you in the midst of a grisly scene. Vultures picking at the aftermath of a terrible battle. Yeah, probably the one I just did. Oh no, there wouldn't be carcasses, would there? Your cursory search of the remains turns up an enchanted hourglass. Which I think is quite good. Oh, it's luck. Negates luck. I can't be lucky, and you can't be lucky. All right. Seems okay. I had this weird thing that sort of cancels morale, but there's a different thing. That's the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on, that's right. That's this thing. Spirit of Oppression. Cancelling morale is going to be great if we can get our hands on that, which I think we can. He can't get it. He's too, he's too dumb. Okay. Yeah. So I'd like to go to the stables. I can't get there today. And I kind of want to figure out what I'm doing here. So she's out of moves. He's in an awkward spot. He's got plenty of spell points. Do I really want to gallop all the way to there? It feels a bit like... If I could get the Spirit of Oppression, I could give Xi the army tomorrow. She could be landing here at the end of the day tomorrow. Gets the Spirit... And then it's day... S gets the spirit on day 7. Gallops to about here by the end of day 7. Then on day 1, she might just have enough moves to get here and smash Styrium before they get the next week's worth of troops. That's my scam. To play it safe, we could skip the spirit fight and just, just land her here. So we make that decision tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm pretty keen on that idea, even though it means we aren't unlocking this stuff. We aren't doing this for a bit longer. So what's the priority here? The priority is probably... Do some scouting. I mean, how many moves do I have left if I ride to here? I will take the army now. And all your stuff. Will I take all your stuff? Yeah, do I want G out there with all these things? I guess I do. 
disguise could be useful. Summon boat, she already knows, but I think we all know summon boat, don't we? Yeah, there used to be a way to destroy. There was a, 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 a mod of the game, a version, it might be the Wake of Gods, where you can destroy useless artifacts that are just taking up room. That would be a feature I would say, Horn of the Abyss people. Put that in. That's handy. Just quality of life thing. Um, yeah, so I get a couple of hexes of advantage out of that, right? I get a little bit. It is a wishing well. So I can actually visit the well, do this, come back and visit it again. So as long as I have enough bodies to not get killed, I should be able to death ripple. Death ripple is non undead. It's not living, right? So it's all units except undead. So unless they're undead, they take the damage. So that's going to be fantastic there. And if it's not, lightning bolt will be. So same thing we did earlier underground with the uh, gremlins and what have you. Right, so Nagash is going to be here at the end of the turn tomorrow. G, all you've got to do is waste a day traveling. Can certainly do at least a little bit of scouting. Hey, a pack of Cyclops Kings hate vampire lords, don't they? I can land there? No, I can't. I can just sail and look at them. I can sail up to them and look at them. So I can land here. Hit the kings. Come down. Oh, I really want that spirit of oppression, though. What am I going to do? Decide tomorrow? I agree. Who knows? Maybe these guys do something, right? Maybe um, green. See, that's a nuisance that he just gets to take it off me. Pink is challenging blue. Let's have a look at Pink's hero. Okay, Astral is just a dead man walking. Yes, yes. Let's do this job first. Give me stables. Do I need this, or can I just do it? I have a feeling it's a dead end up here. It's looking pretty dead endy. Is Crypt a wise place to go when Death Ripple won't work? It is because each stack can just be bolted. And I can run away, you know. I'll be okay. They're not overwhelming, Dal. They're not overwhelming. You don't need to abandon my cause. Let me show you how. Okay. I get where you're coming from, but you're not right about that. You need to have more confidence in yourself, love. Ooh. Oh! The carnage! Oh! Septiana, you are just a murderer. One flick of the fingers. Pure death. Archery. Oh. She only has one slot left, I think, right? Archery? No, it's not archery. It's not going to be archery. Okay, there's a path and another black tower there. By the way, these towers, we, we have an army. Like, this army is going to be okay now for that kind of gig. Get this. I still have 69 spell points, which is enough for six lightning bolts. I've got to come that way to do it. Can I come this way? I think it'll be okay. It'll tell the thing is, Horn of the Abyss tells you what's in the crypt, and you can just say, "Oh, actually, nah, change my mind." In the vanilla game, if you click, if you gallop in there and it says, do you wish to attack the guards, you don't know how many guards there are. So it's a much more risky sort of um, thing to gallop into. Right, now, I nearly, I realised actually I was about to make a mistake. I've got to go in here and upgrade them. Ah, there it is. 
is. Come on, get these on line. Welcome to the Necropolis. This is what being in the Necropolis is all about. I have a first aid tent for her, ready to go. Grab these. And I think we're tooled up here. I think we're tooled up, ready to rock. G. Take the stuff. Take the army. I'll take these actually, because I might I might end up building the wraiths at some point and doing that. I hope this is okay. I hope this is enough. Yeah. The thing is, the only problem with G is she's not she's not a great hero. She can't curse or blind firebirds. And they may act first, fly over, land next to the liches, blast the skeletons. I'm just saying, yeah, 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 but I've got these. Okay, so that's why it's a, still a bit, like, it's far from uber overpowered, but it's hoping it'll be okay. So I land here on day six. On day seven, I go, bang, grab the spirit, check this out. I'll gallop to about here. And then oh, I probably won't make it. So I don't have time for any of this spirit depression or other stuff. I need to land here. Day seven, just gallop like clappers to here. And then come back and tidy this up another time. I'm just going to have to do it that way. One thing I could do with Nagash is summon the boat over back to me, and then N Nagash can... beat Halon? Can he? Maybe? We're all out of moves. Um... Be close, right? Depend on how strong Halon is. I have a pretty, pretty nasty lightning bolt, 185. I'm going to guess that 185 on a single stack, I can kill them in one shot, but he gets his, he gets the first turn. So I think with my existing setup, I can do this. Might even be able to kill a horde of pirates. I don't want to leave him any soldiers to do that with, except maybe some zombies, but... Yeah, I just don't think I have the luxury. If I want to threaten the conflux, I need to go and hurry up and do it. Okay. Stig, no one had... Do you have navigation? I thought, thought in my head one of you guys had navigation. It doesn't really matter, because we're just... We're just island hopping, but you did go there, love. That's good. You could go here, but it's day six. It's kind of pointless. Septiana's coming back around here. I don't need another hero loitering in the area. Don't really want to invest money, money in Stig. Oh, I meant to say as well, if I haven't already, creature dwellings accumulate. So normally it's 15 halflings a week. Well, guess what? A week passed and no one visited. Now there's 30, and they're all mine. Really changes the way the game works. If you've got excellent scouting and you can see everything, and you can see something like a dwelling here, let's imagine we could see all this. If you, you... You can plan weeks ahead, whereas in the normal game you can't. You're kind of like, well, you really don't want to let those creatures go to waste or find a hero to get, get out there and grab them. It's a bit of a pain in the backside, really, right? It's a logistical headache. Uh, so that's really nice. The only thing is, I think, similar to what I talked about, I think, in a previous episode of this series, it gives the player more leverage. And the AI, I think, probably is too stupid to understand that it's a, that it's a priority. Again, I'd love to be corrected if, if the AI has, can, can be taught about accumulation and that it maybe can value... How, how, how urgent is it for me to get out to that dwelling this week? Well, in this version of the game, it's less urgent in a lot of cases, because if the dwelling isn't being threatened by anybody else, there's actually no hurry. You can just grab, pop out there the week after and suffer no consequence for that. Uh, anyway, right, let's see what Tan wants to do. I'm fascinated to see if Green has 
a nasty surprise for us, but I think we have to play to win. We have to try to play to win. Get that conflux conquered. And this is the benefit of doing an ex exploration that then ends up dying or losing. Well, you really are a moron, aren't you? You're just dead now. Orange is there to fight over the uh, stronghold. Maybe he's not a moron. Maybe he hadn't seen that area. How good are you? Oh, I don't get to know. Okay. Okay. G, you get some target practice. My only concern is he goes turn one lightning bolt on my vampires. Is that a big enough worry to actually let him live? No, surely not. He has 60 spell points, oh man. It's very possible that I'm getting lightning bolted here. Ooh, I could do this. 60 spell points, but he's a garbage hero. Do I really want to waste blind on that? I'm going to gamble at the AI will lightning magic arrow this instead of the vampire lord. I'm just going to gamble. Yep. I think that's what the auto resolver did. Yep, okay, fine. So this is a bit of an exploitation, right? It would have been far better to kill a vampire lord. I don't think owning a shipyard... I'm going to hedge against the risk that it does matter. It's still going to be touch and go, isn't it? Look at her full pelt. She still only gets to there. I'll be annoyed if um, I don't get around here. I don't think I'm going to get around here. How far did she run there? She took a detour and then went there, went that far. She's only going to get to about here. Still, I mean, it puts the it puts the question on them. You know, do you have the funds to defend Styrium? Do you have someone to come back and defend it? Um, okay. I think we could try to kill a horde of pirates with spells. The only thing is... Pirate has 15 HP. Alright, so Death Ripple kills not enough. Kills three pirates per stack. This bad boy kills about 15. Really, really want the spirit of oppression. So plan B would be to come back, grab some troops on day one, and then go do it. It's probably the right answer, right? Septiana. Oh yeah, Septiana was going to do this job. I think she can, right, because of all the lightning bolts and magic arrows. It's hard to die, guarded by practically nothing. I do want to search the graves. Septiana, what did I tell you about self-confidence? These guys are morons. 60 HP. Okay, so uh, Magic Arrow kills one of them, and this is 150 HP. So Lightning Bolt kills them. So that's all my mana, but there's a Wishing Well on the other side, so who cares? Come up here, boys. This one's on me. Skellies on skellies, you don't like to see it.
I made a boo boo here. Forgot they had movement four. On this terrain. Love that audio. You just feel like an absolute boss, you know, just killing a big stack of bad guys with your spells. This is what this is what being a This is what being a mage is all about, man. The the, the immersion you feel that the game gives you, you know. When the odds it feels the odds are overwhelming. Fifty of them just smoked. Dark Arts kick in. We get 1,500 bucks for our efforts, which is no... no uh, thing to sniff, sneeze at. Let's refresh our uh, memories, shall we? 120. Very good. And it absolutely makes sense to wait here, because this is a weekly buff, and it's the end of day 7, so this is, could not be more perfect timing for Septiana to just pause here for a moment. And tomorrow there's actually going to be a bunch more Halflings, but I'm coming back this way almost certainly. Based on my memory of everything here. Do I care about that? Or will I just play it safe and go under here? Yeah, we'll go and learn how to attack, and then we'll come back, grab these, run back around under here, and try to get the satyrs at the wine yard. How much flavour is there? Look at this cool big barrel shaped thing, the corrugated roof, the, just the way it's been designed and drawn, just fits the game so beautifully. The satyr on the battlefield looked like, he looked really good, like a He'd been drawn in 1999, and he has always been in the game. So I just really, really have so much respect for this um, uh, this Horn of the Abyss. Now, let's see. A horde of pirates. Every single one that shoots is going to kill a stack. Yeah, nah. Nah. We'll wait here. Another thing we could do is try to summon the boat back here so it's ready and then go back to base, spend the night, replenish the spell points, buy some soldiers, come back over, and we're going to fight and contest this area again. Flag these things, we'll have a whole second hero. Yeah, that seems good. I did this in the um, Conflux campaign. I sat and tried to summon a boat for ages, got, got it ready, and once it was ready, went back to base and stayed the night. It was a pretty good strategy in the end. So he summoned the boat there, it's waiting for him when he gets back. He spends the night. Now, here's a question. Should we invest in a third floor? Well, I don't know how to cast spells in that third category, so no. Would be my gut feeling. Certainly not tonight, anyway. We could build a Hall of Darkness, people. Is it time? Could build a Tomb of Stupid Souls. Yeah, I don't know. Tomb of Souls. I won't waste money on those. They're just not. They're just not good. I don't like that. I don't have to build one. I think I said that last night or yesterday. I'm pretty sure in the old tech tree of the vanilla game, that's a thing. You can't get up into Hall of Darkness and stuff without having done it. So, but I'm playing. I'm playing Horn of the Abyss. I took the necromancy hit of fifty percent, so I'm taking this buff of not having to do this. Six grand's a lot, though. Tomorrow's troops are going to cost quite a lot of money, right? We're going to have another eight of these to buy, another six of these to buy. Yeah, there's three grand there alone. There's going to be four grand. So we're talking, we're going to have at least 12 grand of expenditure and about 11 grand of income. I'm missing out on a couple of Black Knights being accumulated. So I'm just going to skip it, save my money, and spend it on, on soldiers. Hope that Stig doesn't get a nasty surprise from anybody down under here. She'll have enough halflings to do that job. Flag this. I mean, it could be time for another hero as well. Get someone in the water permanently to go up and down and... You know, get out, get out here, see what's out here on the islands. Get some more scouting done. 
before we before we do hit end of day, let's have a look who's here. Yeah, no, so we hired Stig this week. And G. So we've run it. I hate this eagle eye hero. Yeah, Teva. Okay, Ryland is Dendroids with Diplomacy, and I ban myself from Diplomacy. I don't know if I've talked to you guys already in the previous couple of days about Horn of the Abyss templates can be tuned to ban certain skills. So you'll find Nagash can never learn Diplomacy. It'll never come up on the screen because I've changed the template so that it, no hero can ever be offered it. What I can't do is stop Ryland from already knowing it. However, if you really hate Diplomacy, you can go into the template and ban Ryland himself. <laughs> so he's a banned hero. I haven't done that because I didn't want to tie hands behind the back of any particular faction. I, I thought I didn't want to wade in too deeply to start banning individual heroes because you don't know how that might change the balance of the game. Uh, and I'm reluctant to create buffs for the player in the template, if, if I can avoid doing that. Right, let's see what happens. A week of the lizard. Now, G. How have they already? So does that mean they've had a turn before me on day? As they have, they. So does that mean? No, I think I'm still right. So yeah, I'm still the first player to act each day, each on day one each week. I don't think that's changed at all. Yeah, yeah, it's not like they've had a turn. They haven't had their day one before I have my day one. I think this is last week's troops. Okay, which is concerning. I could get round to try to fight. If I can get round and fight them, should I? See, the problem is I'm not even sure how how far she ran. She ran from there to there. I think she's going to land about here. And even if she does, like, even if she gets there, that's a tough fight. Like, so with a week's worth of all the three elementals, the vampires won't hit them. The magic elementals, like, that's too hard now. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think we can do this anymore. I don't even really want to fight them. Like, if they came out into the open with one week's worth, I'd fight them, but there's another whole second week they could buy. So I don't think this is a thing. I think we've got to go back. Plan B. Who came? Did anything happen under here? Yeah, who's this guy? Ooland. Oh, man, that's going to wreck what Sig was going to do. She was going to do all this, and he's going to do it now instead. He's got the boars. He gets all the boars and the satyrs and stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, but I don't think this is a thing now. I don't think she can do... I don't think she can do her job. So if she's coming back... She could come back... Well, she can just do this job now. Oh, that stinks. Maybe it was a bit ambitious anyway, right? 17 vampire lords doing that whole job. So we'll just have to keep going vertical, try, try to build up. I've never looked under there. But I want to kill Ulan now. And get this. Dope. Just have to do this B sort of job instead. Not very exciting. Although, it'll be nice to have that artifact, but... A horde of pirates, I just hope they don't... Well, no, I can prey on them, right? Yeah they're, they're, yeah, they're living. The only problem with the horde of pirates is they might shoot the liches. Oh, which isn't very good. So I could put Nagash in a boat, get him over here. Give him the liches, do the fight, gallop back up, give him the rest of the army, he sails back over lands, gets ready, 
he lands wherever. Septian is standing here, waiting for him to then gallop, and she comes in underneath, and we surprise Uland with a great big kick in the teeth. So Septiana does this, and she is formidable now, right? She is... She is going to murder him. Yeah, no, this seems good to me now. So, Nagash, you're going to get in a boat, you're going to come down here, you're going to act as a muse, she's going to come over, give you the liches, do this job, come back up, give you the army. You need to be able to get back again. You need to be able to sail down do the exchanges with G. G has to be able to do, come here, tra talk to you, come down, get the thing, quickly get the spirit. Workshop, give you the thing. The other thing you could do then is you could just sail to here. That doesn't help me. That wastes a day of Septiana's time. Alright, so this is a this is a kind of a strategic thinking in the way I failed miserably with G strategically on the Conflux conquest there and had to abandon it. I'm try you're trying to set up these daisy chains in a way that are gonna work the best, right? So another idea, so what I'm trying to think about is G comes in, does this job here, right? Forget about this guy for now. G does this job, um, but before she does it, she runs to the coast, gives the liches to Nagash. Then comes down, does the job, links back up with Nagash, gives him the rest of the army and the spirit of oppression. He then sails back to here, jumps out of the boat. He has to be able to jump out of the boat all on that one day. If things go wrong, though, he could do that here. Then the next day, he gallops as far as he can to there. Yeah, so does he have enough to sail down to here and sail to there and land? I think he does. Plan B would be to hire another hero for logistical purposes. Unless Stig can help us, but she can't. She's way up here, right? Doing this. Mercenaries can't believe that a giant walking lizard woman is coming into their camp. But, being the great guys they are, they're like, no problem, would you like to learn how to attack? I see that you have no knowledge whatsoever on this matter. Stig wisely agrees. And she now has learned how to attack. Uh, at least a little bit. Just get them right, just get them. Get out of Ulan's way. Yep. Jo join. I promise not to death ripple you. <laughs> right, um, yeah, is this plan gonna work and is there a plan B if things go pear-shaped? I think there is. Plan B would be that Nagash stupidly only makes it to the coast but can't get out of the boat. Hire a hero, come down, do the thingy, boom. Okay, so that's plan B. So what does all that mean? It means that I need to hire... Septiana could come in first. No, because I need to get in the boat right now. Ooh, risky, 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 risky. If I get in the boat right now, eights... Only half my moves. So... Eight, eight, six will remain. So I could get to here and then still get in the boat? 338. 886 will remain, which means I've got 886 to spend coming down here first. So I'm not gonna risk it, I'm just gonna go to here. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I don't have to pay a visit to the Dark Eternal on the way back. Septiana is going to waste some time coming to here. She's going to have, though, still quite a lot of points to get to about here-ish today, which is fine. And then that way I get to just gallop through with Nagash and get to her without popping into town, which is a two-hex detour. Yes. I don't want to come back to town tomorrow. So please do these things for me. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, deadly. Deadly. Forces beginning to stockpile. 
air of inevitability in the air. Wait, is that what I meant to say? Yeah, it is. Let's get another first aid tent uh, so that G can keep hers. I'm going to gallop to here. And I'm going to do something quite bold and cheeky that you'll see now in a second as well. Let's just check. How many remain? 444. I can do this. I love this alt key thing. It's just so gorgeous. I'm not going to risk it any further. I don't want to be too clever. Right. Come here. Get this. Let's have a conversation. I'm happy with my spell points. Now, normally I would do straight swaparoo. But what I'm thinking is... No, it doesn't matter. Just keep it like this. It's fine. Take this in case I don't see you. You keep these guys. She could even maybe go and do some stuff. Right. She could actually do some things. Wait, 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 wait. Get in the boat. Right. Okay, now your job is going to be to land to come here, which takes up 782 movement points out of 464. So you've got to get to here. 682. And then you've got to get to there and land. I think you can. But then Xi's got quite a job to do as well tomorrow. We're still stuck with movement 4 because of the zombies and the skellies on grass. That's okay. Yeah, Septiana is going to have a turn up her sleeve though, right? Because he's going to land there so there's no way to really avoid her having to waste some time, so that's okay. I could have maybe sent her back here to learn level 3, she's Wisdom. That was maybe a miss, I could have done that. Animate Dead is level 3, I think. That might have been wrong, Septiana could be here. Let's not beat ourselves up over that. She obviously do want her to learn Animate Dead, but she doesn't know Earth yet. See, basic earth magic is probably the last thing I want here, right? It really is. Especially death ripple. Like, it's pretty obvious. She's supposed to be a death maid, an earth maid. She is supposed to be. <sighs> Sorry about the mess up with... Uh... Right, what is Ulan going to do? Okay, he's not pressing. He's not pushing the issue. That's nice. That's quite nice. So do we still need... Now, given that he's sort of gone, oh, actually, I won't come any further this way. Do we really need to come down here? I think we could, right, because then we get to come up here. Vampire Lords are great against this kind of fight. Um, this kind of fight, if it hasn't been done yet, maybe it has, probably has. Sorceress is not a problem. Vampire Lords, you couldn't ask for a better thing. Even the, these kind of things, we could find out what these boots do. The Wayfarer's boots... Yeah, we can beat that army. They've built a fort for us now, if we can conquer that. Sad about... Or I could come back and try to say, oh, I'll come back and try to kill the Conflux. I could. Alright, let's see if we can pull this off. So, the way things were supposed to work is you were supposed to sail to here, sail on Silverbird. Now, you can get to here, and you can get to here. With how many moves to spare? The alt key tells us none. Effectively, right? If I come to here, I have quite a bit to spare. But if Nagash is here, it means that Septiana can stick her head underground today. Okay. So it's a question of where she's going to be standing. She could have time, actually, to do this Mage Guild level 3 thing. Let's see what we get. I'm actually willing to do this. Oh, it's a lot of crystal. Do we do it? Do we go for it? All in the name of Animate Dead, it would be a very handy spell to have, even without Earth Magic. Is Animate Dead level 4? I think it's level 3. Let's do this. 
Ooh, there it is. The third tier of the Mage Guild arrives. What do we get? Yes! Anime dead, people! Alright. Perfect. I'll pause it there. I've got to go pick up kids, but I'll be back. Back there. Sorry for that interruption. So, yeah. Anime dead. That's something I'm going to want to go ahead and learn, I think. And I have time, too, because by the time he, he'll he be here, he'll probably get to about here. She's going to have... Yeah. Okay, so let's just go in. I'd just like to double check. It's in here, right? Now, what do I get? 15 spell points. I've got no skill at all, but I get 330 back. That's enough to raise back eight vampire lords or something like that for 15 spell points. That's pretty nice. We want to learn earth magic now, though. Enough's enough. Right, get in position. Oh, she can get all the way back down here. Cool. So how far do we think Nagash can run from here? He can run pretty, at least to about there, right? Through the dirt? He might even be able to get back to there. So let's be bold. Go to there. So he can get to there. But only if G. Okay, so worst case scenario, actually, I could land there. So I am going to go one more square with Nagash. I'm back to not being able to hear things. I hope you guys can hear. I'd like to get feedback, by the way. Anyone who's listening in, you know, or watching, if my voice is louder than the music and sound effects, those three things blending together is hard for me to always get exactly right. I find when I watched it back, not that I watch myself a lot, um although I am exceptionally self-absorbed, um, it, it varies. Like, my voice seems loud and the music seems quiet and then vice versa. So anyway, feedback welcome. All comments of any nature um, that help me make this better are a good thing, if you've got time and inclination. Okay, so Nagash is waiting. Ji, the reason I wanted to speak to you, Nagash, is I don't want to do this fight with the liches. So I'm going to use a third of my points getting to there. I'm going to use at least most of the rest doing this job. How far can I sail? I don't think I can afford another step down. Maybe that's the right thing to do is to hedge that off though. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six moves left. There's actually seven there. But let's call it six. One, two, three, four, five. I could do it from here. Surely I could. So I think that's okay. Oh, nice. But now my options are very limited. That's the only place I can land. But that's okay. G. Well, I think I wasted there because I can't get to there. So I still have to stand here to do it. Well, on the way back I'll get the benefit. So she has to do all of the negotiation... That would be bad. Really? Okay. Should I take this tooltip? A horde of pirates is overwhelming. I don't really have spells. I have blind. I did not see this coming. I need to think about this now. I have two copies of Blind. I'm going to go. I'm going to press ahead. Okay. Wow. Okay. There's, there's a hundred... Oh, man. There's 99 of them. It's the biggest possible horde that's possible? Blind lasts four turns. Lords come here. Oh my god. Oh my god. And they are going for the Lords. Look at that. That's just sickening. Oh, wait, why did I do that? That was a mistake. 
Oh my god. No melee penalty? Kill them! Okay, they're back. Oh, I've walked into a dead end. Uh, okay, don't get in the way of the zombies, whatever you do. Do not do that. Alright, I've... Uh, 99, like, come on. What happened? That was the first aid tent. Helping out. 15 of 17. I think it's better to go for the big stack here. Yeah. Nice. Two, three, four. Mm. That, that's good. That's good, damn. What is their speed in melee if they want to go out and melee something? Speed six? What a solid, solid unit. The pirate. Very, very nice unit. Okay, they're not waking up yet. So possible proposal would be one on one it feels like the vamps are going to do the do the job do they wake up next turn some of them do don't they no uh, oh there it is we've got two turns of blind remaining so that's this turn and next turn Man, this was terrifying. Can't believe this. Just, just, she just exactly had the right spell and the right. Ugh, ninety-nine of them though as well. What am I supposed to do? There's only one of these left, so I'm not wasting his attack on that. The question is, do I burn this turn of blindness? I don't think I do. I, I make use of it right by attacking. Now he, when he's awake, he's going to walk out and do that job, which will annoy me. I can block this guy off though. Hang on, have you moved yet? You haven't moved, so I think what I'm supposed to do is wait. Put the skeleton here so that this guy on his turn has no choice but to either kill a skelly or attack the vampire lords. They then retaliate. So I think this guy waits. We let these two small stacks do whatever they want. Not a problem. Great that he lived, that's awesome. Oh, he's not fast enough. No, but he is. And he's acting before the vampires. Um, no, the zombies can do that. Let's you come to here. So there's this, there's something to be said for physically trapping them in their respective corners. Okay. Um, that will get in the way of me, so I'll come to here. Yeah, this is this seems good to me. You do this, and then the retaliation... Oh, sorry, there's no retaliation, but it, yeah, okay. So now I do this again. And the other stack is still blind. So the four power, the four spell power, just amazing here. Uh, next turn, I want to fly up here and smack you. So you hold tight. You try to finish these off. Man, this could have gone differently. Right, next next round, they're awake, but guess what? I'm here! Hello! Rawr. How good are these guys, man? How good are they? Um, I'm acting first next turn. I think I'm just going to count on... Uh, 
uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to count on the vampires carrying the day. This is my point about how good they are, right? They're very good. Okay, they can get in the way of that, so I'll do that. Try to defend the skellies from them coming around here. Alright. Boom. Yes! That's a big win. That's a big, big win for G. Huge XP, 1633. 99 of the sods. Formidable unit, man. Formidable unit. Alright. Wisdom for G. Wisdom unlocks Animate Dead. For a Necromancer, Wisdom, I feel, is just an absolute must. I already have Septiana. She's Expert, Wisdom, and Scholar. That'll be levelling up, so I'm going to say no to Scholar. Okay, can I get you... Alt Key? I'll still have tons of points left. Let's get the Spirit. Walking through the ruins of an ancient walled city, you find the instrument of the destruction of that city. The spirit of oppression. Love that. And you can't have morale. You can't have positive morale, but you can't have negative morale. Because you are the oppressed. That'll use half my moves. Am I feeling lucky about this? Uses 100 movement points to get there. If I do this, I have... 296 remaining. So how much does it cost to take one step? 100. So it looks like I'm taking a, a minus 200 if I do this. I'll just make it. I have no spell points left anyway. These are full of golems. The experimental workshop. I have no spell points to protect the vampire lords and they can't regenerate. So I'm actually going to decline this offer. Just get you the stuff you need. Now, what would have happened there in that fight if the liches were there? They would all be dead by now. Which is obviously unacceptable. G is left with nothing. Um, is that what I want to do, or do I want to leave her with some soldiers? Nah. No, I'm going to leave you with nothing again. Sorry. Let's go get that again. And no spell points either. Jeez, level 4, man. That 4 spell power she had. Oh, I get it. She had The reason she had 4 spell power was because of the... Ribcage. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, here we go. Execute the plan. Carry it out. Carry forth my will. Okay, I've gone too far. There's where that's where Septian was supposed to stand. Alright. Hopefully that won't hurt us too much. We've been there for the day. Oh hey! I realized while I was downstairs I forgot about this. <laughs> so we missed out on three vampire lords, that's really bad. But um I can't do anything about it now. I'm tempted to run up in here and grab these, but I don't want Erland coming back? Who are you again? Why would he come back? I don't have wisdom, do I? I do. I'm a witch. I can stand there. He's not going to gallop all the way over and tag me. When I meet up with Septiana, well, one of us is going to go back and take the uh, torso back. I would have loved to get up there, actually. The... That's a thing, too, we can do now. That that mission. Forty-five halflings. We could play tag, and I could kill these with the army. There's a few things we can do here, right? Yeah, I think I like... I'm, not, I'm, I'm just not going to overcook it. I don't want to stand there and risk Erland. So I'm just going to stand here. You know, he might have logistics or something. That's way too far, for, even for someone with logistics, I think, to get me. Whew, we 
huge turn. Animate dead and a massive hold against the pirates. Massive turn. Hopefully green just get bored and stay there now. Yeah, so they're still stuck behind there. It's kind of cool, actually, if green mistakenly think that... Well, green will have seen all this, though, right? I don't know, maybe. Let's end the turn. Yeah. Oh, he gallops back to defend against pink. Pink isn't a threat, though. Pink's not your problem. So this is all developing quite nicely for us. I can see, I can see myself. This orange hero must be junk. I've noticed that in a couple of things, like with the digging, the random digging that happened before. Hero's just getting stuck. I didn't, I wouldn't see this as often in the vanilla game. I wonder if, is there something about this being Horn of the Abyss that causes heroes to just gallop and then in the AI just kind of run out of ideas? That's quite bad, if true. Uh, it might not be anything to do with the Horn of the Abyss at all, I don't know. Okay, I can only get to there, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Again, just so sorry. So sorry about this. Please accept my apologies. Except Jenna's like not impressed. She's down there like looking back up the road at him. You moron. I'll just come back to you then, will I? Give me that army, you fool. Give me these. Still don't want the whites, do I? Nah. Have they both learnt? Shouldn't she have taught him... Oh, it's first and second level. I was going to say, shouldn't she have taught him Animate Dead, but she can't. She doesn't know how yet. Um, she's not an experienced enough teacher. This army looks pretty mean. Don't mind telling you. Pretty good. It's a pretty good army. Let's go and use it to kill Erland. Is that realistic? No, I can kill him. Hang on. Where's that guy? Where's he gone? Here he is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Uland. Uland, you are a dead man if I catch you. Space bar, let's go. Is this what I want to do with my life, or do I want to come over here? Still so tempted, but vamp lords just do not interact. Yeah, no, this is the right answer. Go and kill living things. That's what I want you to do. Stig. Oh, yeah, the halflings might be of use to me. I'm not going to death ripple. Do a quick recce. Not irrelevant. Worth my time in stopping. She can hire boars, and I think there's going to be satyrs. I have three slots in my army. So I can get halflings, satyrs, and then I can... In Probably just take them as well, take these as well. So would Thingy here have time for a quick scout? Run back up here, get this. Septiana is on her way through now though, so if you want to speak to her now's the time. Stig meets with Septiana in the underground. I understand you were instrumental in the defense of our fortress. Thank you, Stig. The fact that you are 11th in the throne, in line for the 11th in line for the throne, has no bearing on the merit of your performance, and you should be proud of yourself. You are not a spare in my eyes. Now, what do you have for me? Well, uh, my liege, I have these 45 idiots who know how to throw rocks. Give them to me. They shall be my fodder. I also have the torso of Legion. Keep it. Return it to Nagash. Post haste. As you command, my queen. She comes here. She finds out what this is. Why not? I was going to teach you how to curse things, but I see your powers 
are too good. You didn't learn protection from Earth, did you? She didn't. She didn't, but... Mm. Might, come, might live to regret that. She'll end up learning it off somebody accidentally once she knows how to be a better scholar. Only if we meet again. Is it worth the movement points? Oh, it's too late now. I'm not coming back for it now. Stiggy, I'd like a little bit more map revealed here. And these can wait. Sepchiana could go there on the way. Yeah, Sepchiana's going to go there. Okay. Just let me see. Ah. In fact, I want you to stick your head through the portal and risk dying. Even if you risk dying with the torso. I wish I had four skellies in this army, but it's just... I need this intel. G. Now might be a good time to show you guys this functionality. If I push the space bar, G can leave a man here. Now, there's not much point leaving one man here, is there? What's the point of that? But you could, for example, leave two, which would be enough to stop someone with one gremlin <laughs> stealing it. I'm not going to though because I just don't have. I just don't want to. Well, maybe what I could have done is given she like four zombies. And that would be enough to actually just delete a lot of heroes from being able to take it. Still can't go down under here. I mean, I'm completely out of spell points. So, all right, this is the price we pay for chasing Uland. It's okay. It's all right. Back at base, is it time to begin investing? Something low regret. Skeleton transformer, perhaps. Turn these things into skellies, maybe. Who's the hero? Straker is the, yeah, walking dead guy. Earth can do little harm to those who've mastered it. That might be a new tip. I think protection from Earth is a lot better than it used to be. Uh, precision, you say. Zubin, the battle mage, knows precision. And is good at casting it. They also understand artillery, which doesn't help me much. They could all become skeletons in the skeleton transformer, those things. There's also a stronghold, a stronghold underground that I might be trying to con conquer. The Septiana. Okay, so Nagash... I think is the man I'll put in the boat. Just because he's got great spells and with a nominal sized army, he'll be able to get something done. Oh, I wanted these as well, I just don't have time to do everything. Uh, yeah, I'm not hiring another hero today. I don't think, yeah, no, that's it. Blue is mucking around, look at that. Tan is back. Oh. Why can I never have what I want? Why can I never go and do the things I want to do? Ugh. Sepchiana, we have to kill Tan. Can you get to her? You can. Alright, how good are you? Don't be amazing. Krellian. Might even have time for satyrs first. 3.41. No, okay. There's not enough time to buy satyrs before coming back. Uh, are we doing this? Krellian is a barbarian, if I'm not mistaken. Who gets the first turn? Serpent flies are movement 9. My vamp lords are movement 9. Okay, so what, what's the worst case scenario? Turn one haste on the... It would have to be expert haste to really care. If it's basic haste... Basic haste on the serpent flies are at the bottom of the screen. Lizard men are at the top of the screen. So let's do the old swapperoo here. It's my first thought. Flyers and cyclopses are down the bottom. And yeah, 
I'm just really going to want to vampire lord my way through this and chump the... He's going to have better attack and defense. I'm 4 and 7. He's going to be like... He could be 10-10, right? But I have animate dead. And I, I throw a mean lightning bolt too. Don't mind telling you. And I've got Frost Ring now. Cool. 110. That could be relevant. That is not probably going to be until they've killed my... Yeah, it'd be good to get Expert Water. But I don't... I can't bless, obviously. Yeah, I might try removing an obstacle see what that does. Probably not. 110 points of damage in a ring for 9 spell points. Or I can do double that in a single... And that's with no air magic knowledge. I can do that much damage to one stack, or I can do this much damage to maybe two. That's with advanced frost ring. That's how good lightning bolt is. The maths just of lightning bolt are too skewed towards it being awesome, regardless. It gets cast. It gets overcast. If that makes sense, it gets cast more than its fair share for a good reason. Swap this. These guys have four hexes to travel to get up and be relevant in defense, so... You know, it's possible that the liches will be attacked by Serpent Flies on turn two if he magic arrows the one stack of skeletons. Do I care? Not really. Not really. We can take this guy. We can do this fight. You've come at a bad time, Krellian. Now's not a good time, mate. What can I do? Come on, Sep Jenna. <sighs> really? <sighs> this prompt is terrifying every time it happens. Okay. No, it's not overwhelming. Look at this, two spell points. I still don't know blind. I haven't scholared my way up to blind yet, but I know animate dead. You have no spell points. How is this hopeless? My vamps are going to absolutely annihilate this. Am I wrong? Am I too cocky? Excuse me? What happened to all my damage? So he has interference? He has artifacts that Lower my spell power. Yeah, I've got five spell power instead of eight. Okay. That's going to reduce the animation as well. All right, I can respect that. He's got an anti-magic amulet or something. I'm only spell power five. I deal less damage. Death Ripple only does 35 points of damage. It's not a thing in this fight. Okay, with halflings anyway. The key thing I'm going to want to do is the scalable things like this. I can shield someone like the Vampire Lords, I can curse, and I can animate dead, still is going to be great, right? So who hates being cursed the most? I know these guys do. They don't love it. These guys hate being cursed. Hydras hate being cursed, that's excellent. Now, who gets the first turn next turn? I can't see, but it'll probably be him, right? Because I'm going first this time. Yeah. It's interesting. Okay, I need to think about this. Okay, I think I figured out what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Well, firstly, I'm going to wait. I'm hoping these guys move out to the middle. The Liches hopefully have a near-term shot, and they act before the Cyclopses. So I'm going to decide what happens after that. Um, okay, they acted, but what have they done? They've waited? Yeah, they're at the back of the queue again now. So I could wait. I'd thought about maybe this shot here. Kills one. Yeah, no, it kills the tent. So the tent will just die, and I'll get a nice shot off there. Is that better? So if I was just targeting the Cyclopses down, I would kill one and leave a haircut on the other. So maybe I should do this shot. I 
think that might be a better shot, even though I give up the short range opportunity. And I could lightning bolt the um, Cyclopses as well for good measure. Next turn when I get my turn I'm going to curse the Hydras because they really hate being cursed as you can see 25 to 45. I think I like this. I think it's okay. I don't have amazing spells in this matchup. Do this. That hits all three. Didn't kill. Oh I did kill. I see, see what I mean? The seven stuck around longer than I wanted it to. So he went for the liches. That's okay. I can animate their butts when the time comes. Uh, how many have you got left? Got a good chance of killing one there. Let's just do that. Although that's massive damage on these guys. Alright. No, didn't do it. So they're highly variable, right? One to three, yeah. Pretty highly variable. Uh, four, so I have to come to here. I will come to here. And I guess I'll come up here too. I don't care if the halflings die. Is that a mistake? No, not really. Come down here. I should care if the halflings die. I should be trying to defend them better. Right. Um, so they're out of the game. They're not going to be relevant until I say so. So what should I attack? Should I attack them? Put some pain on them. And then I could fly down on my first turn and do this. Could go back up there. Both are okay options. Could kill a couple of Gorgons, but they're out of the game unless I say so. Well, he's got no haste, he's got no way to get them into the game. Um, they cover the Basilisks, but they don't. Hmm, what should I do now? Yeah, so I think I like the idea of giving one of these units a haircut and then coming back to here. The only problem with that is when I wait and the Basilisks walk up, if they attack me with the Basilisks, um, that's just not great at all. So the Wyverns come down and kill the Skeleton. He, come, he walks in and kills the Halflings. I just don't really want the Vamps out here in the middle of the park. It just doesn't seem necessary. The halflings are going to die, that's just the way it is. I'm just trying to think how I leverage them best. It's like if I hit one of these units and then I could go up here, that invites both of these units back. How sad am I about that? Not very. They're going to be cursed, they'll retaliate. I think that might be the way to go. Let's do this, because I'm going to curse that stack, right? So yeah, let's do this. Let's do this move. I've thought about it long enough. I think this is okay. Thank God they're not mighty. This is fantastic. That's just a gift. That's ridiculous. That's a really, really bad idea. Yeah, so they'll be back in the game, but I'm going to curse them. I think I like this. I do this job. Yeah, you can't get to me. You can throw a rock at me. And if they turn around and come back, that's fine. 12 perish. Wow. Oh. Huge hits. And I don't get to leverage. <laughs> I don't get to leverage my amazing death cloud optionality. Could just go for him. Um, two to three of those. He's kind of out of the game at the moment. I think it's the Wyverns here. So that felt like it hurt, right? That that hit hard, it and it did hurt. Don't do anything, you idiots. Okay, but I have to suffer this fate. It's all right, it's okay. Well, wow. okay. Um... I can't protect the liches if I try to take this retaliation. Right? Unless... How can I protect the liches? So one way is I, I kill... I let this guy die. Skelly... No, I can't do it. So I'll have to sacrifice these ten in order to get a hit off. 
No, you have to wait. Okay, you guys have to die. That's alright, don't do anything. Not bad, good to get that trigger. Okay, next turn, here we are. Sorry about the wee edit there, had to go have dinner. Um, I don't mind telling you, I wasn't paying much attention to the conversation at the table because uh, I was thinking an awful lot about how how much these vamps are just becoming utter chads in this fight. I don't even think I'm going to cast anything yet. The only maybe exception to that is see the Bassies are going to have to go next. They'll probably kill one of these rather than trying to wade and do anything funny up here with the zombies. So I don't need to address them. And I think these guys are just going to fly down here and get bigger by killing these. And then they're both out of the game again. Look at this. Three rise. Decent. Okay, and now I feel like the next best attack is this one because these guys hit the zombies. Although, mm, it's very tempting. Do about 100 damage to each stack, or I can do this. Yeah, this is better. How much damage are the zombies going to do to these? Could kill three to four of these and then just get out of their way. Yes. Yes. Kill them. Madness! <laughs> okay, I got shot there. 23, right, from a, from a maximum of 25. And if I move to here, the Bassies don't get me. Uh, now, I do have one skelly left, so I can make a decision about spells after this attack. Okay. Very nice. What do I want to do next here? One thing you really want to be careful of is Krellion fleeing while before I've started animating dead things. Um, now, there's a stack here to reanimate. How many, how many guys do I get back if I do this? 41 skellies come back to, to life. The problem with that is they'll just get killed by the bassies straight away. Um, the other thing I could do is raise these up. But I don't think I've lost enough. There's only three liches missing. They're still cursed for five more turns. That's just lovely. Not even be able to help the gorgons. Look at that. I'm just going to go up here and kill the gorgons. Oh, so mean. They're out of the game if they kill the first A10, I don't care. I care a bit, actually. That's a bit kind of annoying if they kill the first A10. Right, I don't think the liches are getting hit again. So this feels a bit like a bit of a waste, but I think it's okay. Okay. What a waste. Oh, no, they are. They're, they're centralising. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, vamps could do this, could come here and do that. Who act next? The Gorgons? It doesn't, doesn't run away from the Hydras anyway. So the other th mean thing I could do is just run away and tease them. They're still cursed for ages. I could just come to here. How, do, how useful is that, though? Because they both chase after me. Well, it's useful because I'm just going to be shooting them. That seems good to me. That seems good to me now. You can't touch me on this square. Yeah, what are you going to do? You can attack me with the Basilisk. That's fine. Unless I get petrified. Okay. Don't get petrified. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's just so hard to get rid of a big stack of Vampire Lords. They're just impossible to work with. They're like the Dave Mustaine of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Okay, let's go. Now, I say that out of massive love for Dave Mustaine, and only because he's self-confessed that he's not, in, in one of the songs, he's not hard to get along with. He's impossible. Uh, now. We didn't come here to talk about Dave Mustaine. Basilisks. Man, that's good movement. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can only get to there, though. So if I stand there, that would be really annoying for you, wouldn't it? Still haven't cast a spell this turn. 
Krellion could flee at any moment. I don't think with four Hydras he'll flee yet. Hmm. What are the skeletons protecting now? Nothing? Okay, so I went without casting a spell that turn. Oh man, that was a silly, silly thing to do. Uh, the Hydras are just so abusable, isn't that just gorgeous? Look at this. I still don't need to cast. We have run rings around the Hydras and the Gorgons. I could wait, but I'm worried about a flea. How worried am I? I've got both, both my full stacks back to full health. I don't get these. Maybe I should just resurrect the skellies now? What's the downside of just doing this now? Now that the bassies are gone? Wait. If you want to run, you can. Taliate. They all come back. You've got to have multiple units on them, ganging up. It's so hard to put a dent in them, and these, these guys still can't fight yet. That is woeful for you. That is so bad. There's no morale risk. I can just run down here. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, the liches can just run for it on their turn. Um, these guys might run interference. Do I just do this? I think I just pile into the hydras. I think it's okay. Ooh. Seems risky, but I'm gonna go for it. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Do this. There's one left. Oh, actually, that's probably even worse for the hydras. Yeah. Now what are you going to do? <laughs> now what are you about? Okay, the zombies act next. That's that's unlucky. So we can come back here and do this job. Guilt-free. You're probably just getting out of the way largely. Let's pop you here. Keep a nice matrix together. I'm movement 5, I'm movement 4. That was maybe a bit foolish of me, they're all movement 4, the Hydra will get to them. Okay, so I'm gonna need... Okay, I can cast a spell on the vamp's turn, so you just do nothing. Alright. Oh, superb. Just superb. <sighs> Man, it's brutal. Is there any way I can kill Krellion? with this combo. Yeah, the two hex body really hurts them here. Um, three Hydras hit me with no retaliation. The next unit to act is the zombies. So I'm fine with this as an idea. Yeah, this is fine. Maybe I shouldn't have changed places there. That might have been a mistake. Yeah, it was definitely a mistake. Kills one, and then it's your turn. That was a mistake, right? Still, whenever he attacks, I can just raise back. He's going to deal 50 damage. 25? I'm going to kill one for sure. He might just flee, right? On the Hydra's turn. Or he might... Yeah, he's just going to flee. That's perfect. That is... Perfect! What a result, folks. What a result. <sighs> Great result, Sepsiana. Oh, Krellian departs the field in shame. Look at everything we killed, and it was all thanks to our good friend, the vampires. To a lesser extent, the liches as well. Just, once you get that critical mass of both units together, it's just so nice. Never artillery in a million years. Spell power plus one, very nice. There's our expert, Burt Water. We're not going to take nav navigation at this point. We want, we want Earth, ideally. Oh, great, great stuff. Right, I'm going to save the game at this point, but uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. Who couldn't come back? How could you not want to come back? This is just becoming an epic, epic adventure. So I'll see you all again tomorrow.